Okay, today we're going to be working on this Craftsman motorcycle jack, rated for 1,500 pounds. I really find it hard to believe that they would tell you that the lift is certified to 1,500 pounds, not just the pump. And I can't see the motorcycle industry selling these left and right and actually marketing them with pictures of big Harleys on it, or Victories, or heck, even something like I have. So it worked great for the first few years. It's about 15 years old. I take care of it, keep it well lubed. However, I've never ever changed the fluid in the bottle jack portion. And like I said, I really have a hard time believing that they say the lift, not just the jack, the lift is rated for 1500. My motorcycle comes in at about, I think it's about 600, 650 pounds, somewhere in there. So that's half of what this thing's rated for. The problem I have is when you lift the motorcycle all the way up and then you go to lower it there's kind of a hopping a bouncing that it does that's telling me that something in the seals in here uh, aren't working correctly and like a transmission automatic transmission sometimes sometimes it's just the fluid that's in it so we're going to go ahead and move this up there into the shade have a look and see if we can't drain out the old and put some new stuff in um, yeah, all this said Craftsman at one time, but uh, over the years, they basically just peeled off, delaminated the Craftsman portion. But uh, it is. It is definitely a Craftsman lift, and I really love it. It's been great. Uh, like I said, I use it quite a bit on my motorcycles, whether it's the VTX or the VMAX, but uh, I have to do something about that hopping. And there's the uh, manual there, model number 50190. And we'll go right here to page 7, where it talks about replacing the oil. Lubrication, I do that. I try to go ahead and add some 3-in-1 uh, to all the moving parts every couple of years. And for the actual fluid, I'm going to use jacks. It talks about mixing with all, because even though I'll drain it, I'm sure I won't get it all out. But I'll get most of it out, and I'll replace it with this. It says with stop leak. Usually what happens is the seals inside the jack, they start to harden. And most of the time, something like this where it says stop leak will actually make the seals kind of soft and pliable again. And that's how it basically stops any leakage. For me, I just need new fluid. I need to check the level, get the old stuff out. And hopefully by the time I'm done, I can put my motorcycle up on the jacks and uh, bring it all the way up and lower it with a nice controlled... Uh, slow speed while it's being lowered. Right now it's either boom all the way to the floor or hippity hop all the way down, bouncing up and down as it comes down. So I don't know if any of you guys have that problem, but uh, that's what I'm going to try. All right, so it's been a while since I assembled this thing years ago, and uh, I can leave the pedal assembly on, no problem there. Uh, cotter pin, got to go ahead and pull that. I can release the pin. I don't want to fight with this flipping all over the place, so I'm going to grab a pair of pliers and go ahead and take this uh, spring off. I even put a little black mark, not that it's a big deal, but I knew this was at the bottom. I just want to return it there. Then I can take out these bolts, uh, bring this over to the bench, and then uh, go ahead and service the uh, bottle jack. Okay, springs off, pins out. Let's see, it's a little wet down here. So I'm going to go ahead and guess that the biggest part, I should say the biggest problem I have with this jack is the fluid is going to be low. That means the seals are leaking a little bit, but... Uh, that new stuff I have is supposed to prevent that. Ended up taking out the foot pedal just to make the uh, little bit easier to get it out of here. And I took the pump itself over to the bench. Okay, there's the pump there. This is what we're going to go ahead and work on. Again, on the bottom there was some fluid. Not a whole lot, but just enough probably to get some air in there. So we'll go ahead and take care of that. And this is the actual little rod that this in here swivels on. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this with some lithium grease and let it set up and that way I can wipe off the excess before I put this in when I'm done with this. Cotter pin that came out actually came out in a pretty good state. However, I never reuse cotter pins. Plus I have a, a whole bank of all kinds of stuff over there with cotter pins I can replace this with. Alright, there again looking at all the information, all the warnings. Uh, there's nothing on here that says anything about um, 
1,500 pounds. They say the jack is rated for 1,500. That way, if you do the fulcrum to the load point, uh, to the actual pivoting point or energy point on the arm that actually lifts this up, um, it's going to exceed 1,500. But there again, we don't know what this jack is actually rated to. There was never anything on here saying the jack is only rated to a certain amount. It's about the size of the one that's in my FJ on the outside and if it can lift a car it can lift this thing again it specifically says that the jack not just the pump the jack is rated for 1500 so what I need to do and unfortunately I got the little rubber plug here so I got to be careful with that because I have to reuse it um, some of the other jacks have a screw in I'd love to have that but uh, I don't so I'll take this out and then we'll go ahead and drain it and we'll see what the fluid looks like Alright, so I'm going to have to get a screwdriver down here, work my way around, and go ahead and pop this open. Uh, drain out all the old uh, fluid, put the new stuff in, and it should fill it up until it gets to this here, and then it should start to come out, and then I know it's completely full. And I'll go through with a, uh, let's see here, air purging, or bleeding, the hydraulic system when I'm done. Again, guys, uh, like I said, they say the lift, and that's how they advertise it. Um, if this thing was only good for 1,500, and when you lift and do the math, it's only good for 600 pounds. Uh, this company, actually all the lift companies, would be out of business. So, like I said, I'm not sure what this is rated to. There's nothing on this that says that, but the entire lift system itself is rated for 1,500 pounds. So let's go ahead and get this out of here. One quick thing on this. Uh, let's see here. When they talk about uh, changing the fluid, now oil should be replaced at least once every year. I know that sounds like a lot, but of course we do it more in our car. Um, I'll probably let this go a little bit longer than that since I really haven't done anything for 15 years. But uh, that's what they say, and I guess that's uh, to keep the seals conditioned inside so that you get a lot of time uh, and use out of these jacks. Okay couple of good signs number one that came out pretty easy and the plug is in good shape I have it wrapped up in there to go ahead and suck the moisture out of it there was a lot of air that was trapped in here so that's telling me my jack definitely needs to be bled and that's one of the problems that can cause that hopping or bouncing when you're lowering your bike so that's a good sign so let me go ahead and get this drained out and then uh, we'll talk about refilling it and how to and where and then we'll go ahead and bleed it all right, here's the old fluid here. And you can see there's actually some bits of dirt. There's a grime which gives it kind of this smoky color mixed in with the fluid, and the fluid's very old uh, compared to this nice new stuff that we're going to put in. Again, with the conditioners and everything else that this has in it, I should be able to put this in and have basically trouble-free usage for a long, long time. All right, before we're getting the fluid in, making a real mess, it's a good time to check on the condition, so I'll go ahead and use, I like this Protec lubricating oil. It's got all kinds of neat little additives in it. I'll go ahead and lubricate all the moving parts. Tighten this down really well. And let's see here, anything like that. I'll check the condition of the cotter pins. And then I'll go ahead and get the fluid in. But this is a good time to give it a once over to make sure everything is exactly how it's supposed to be. Okay, in case you're wondering, all the warnings on this jack has to do with the lift itself, and they're actually in the manual. And basically, I just went ahead and every single place I could get some oil in, in any one of the uh, parts that has a little little axle or a little fulcrum or anything like that. Oil's all in here, underneath here, and through here. This has been tightened up, so the jack has been serviced, so it should be nice and smooth. Now we just need to go ahead and get some fluid in here, fill it up until it starts to come out. I'm going to lean it back, put a couple extra drops, not a whole lot, and then get the plug back in. And I'll go ahead and bleed it, and then there's a way to just push the plug in to let some of the air out. I can assemble it, and I should be done. Okay, so I followed the air purging instruction as per the manual, but I did it on the bench in a vise here. And, uh, it seems like it's a lot better and of course when you're all done it doesn't hurt to uh, go ahead and just push this in or if you had a screw on type just crack it 
and you should hear some air escaping. Uh, that's normal, that's the air that you're trying to purge out. And that's how much this jack ended up using. I bought two because I do have two other floor jacks I need to have a look at. Uh, one is uh, one of the ones I use quite a bit. And we're going to use some uh, blue Loctite, which is a low strength, but it's enough to keep anything from trying to uh, wiggle its way out over time. Nothing worse than having something loose on the jack while you're in the middle of working on your bike. Yeah, I have a good assortment of counter pins here. It's a nice new one to take the place of this old one. And that's the one I'll use on here for the main axle. Okay, there's a counter pin in. In old school, I like to go ahead and bend them up. There's nothing worse than having something sharp, and if you're ever in here doing something with your fingers, you rip your finger open. So I try to go ahead and do that to all of them that I can. Just kind of bend them over. Okay, there's the jack up. It's not as far as it goes. It actually goes a bit further. But I just want to get up high enough where I can go ahead and check it. And there it goes. Yeah, I need to put this away because I need to go ahead and grab the bike with both hands. The only thing I have against this jack, I wish it went down a bit further. I have to basically stand the bike up, which gets to be a pain because it's a lot easier to do it on the side that has the jack, uh, the, uh, the side that has the kickstand. But of course, the jack won't go in on that side because the kickstand's in the way. So I basically bring it in here. about like that I get behind the bike and I use this little deal here from the other side to reach it and pull it in to where I need it and then I just flip it around from the other side and press on this pedal to go ahead and get it so the bike is sitting on the pads and that's basically how I do it it's not too much of a pain because once it's in the air this jack is awesome and you don't rely on the bottle to hold the bike up. It's got these uh, mechanical detents here that this hook goes into. There's three levels. And that way it's on like a uh, permanent jack stand with a pin. So um, what I am finding out is the longer that fluid's in, uh, the better and better this jack is working, which I kind of like. So let me get it up there and let me give it another shot. Okay. So what is this little contraption here? I don't know. Actually, what we're going to do with this is put it down there in that tapped hole and actually make a stop so I can only allow myself to push this down a little bit, just enough to allow this jack to uh, descend slowly. So this is a stop that's adjustable. Once I get the right height, I can tighten it up with this nut inside the hole. It's a good jack, um, just the heavier the item, it just seems to still have a little bit, um, most of it went away with the change of the fluid, but it still has a little bit of a bounce, and it's really hard to get your foot on here and hold an even pressure. Some of them have a pin type, which is a tube, and it has a little bit of a pin sticking on some of the jacks, kind of like we have what you have in your car if you have a bottle jack and that, and you can really adjust how slow you want it to go down. This thing here, when you have your foot on it, it's really hard. You don't want to go all the way down. You want to bring it down just a little bit. And uh, hopefully that's what this little stay here is going to do. So let me get this put in. Again, I just drilled out the hole, tapped it. Something like that. I'll start with it right about here. And I'll see how that goes. See how it moves just a little bit? Actually, I'll decrease that just a little bit so I can step on it. And hopefully that'll be just enough where I can crank it down a bit and get a fine adjustment on this. So, again, I had a bolt. I had this plastic thing. This actually came off of a battery, car battery. I save all this stuff because you just never know when you're going to need them. And uh, let's go ahead and get this adjusted and I can show you guys if it works. Well, I got this fine tune. Every time I seem to have it adjusted, as soon as I tighten up the lock nut, down there at the bottom it would move so what I'm looking at is a way to get the bikes down nice and slow so let's see how this works oh yeah now we're talking that's exactly what I wanted okay I can say we're fixed 
We have the new uh, oil inside the jack, which helps with the seals. It's been serviced, got all the little junk out of there. We now have a foot stop at the bottom, so I can control how slow this thing goes down. And this jack is now ready for many more years of useful service.